With me here right now is the multimedia director of Euroactive, Evan Lamos. That's a, a European website here that reports on EU news. Evan was making his way to his office this morning, which is located just by the Berlimont building, the European Commission building, and he was in the carriage right behind where that explosion went off, and he managed to capture some footage with his camera, and it's been used online all day. Evan, how are you feeling right now? Feeling a little bit unreal, um, trying to get used to the idea that uh, it was so close to the explosion um, and trying to recover as best as possible. Talk us through exactly how you felt when you heard that explosion. Sure, it took me a while to realize what had, was going on. I was on my way to work. I had been reading the news about the explosions in the airport, um, and my metro was in between Arlois and Mal Malbec, where the explosion happened. Um, uh, suddenly, we, heard, uh, we felt a blast of air, um, and we heard some thudding in the distance, um, and an announcement came over the speakers saying that a disruption had happened on the line. Um, I didn't know immediately that this was a terror attack. I thought maybe it's just a problem uh, with the metro. Uh, then a few minutes later, they started evacuating us from the metro uh, onto the metro lines, walking back to the Arloa metro station. And that's when it hit that there was something definitely really wrong. And you're feeling, I imagine, very lucky to be alive this evening. Definitely. I think if I had taken the metro just before the one that I was on, it would have been the metro um, that had the uh, explosion. So feeling very lucky. But Brussels is kind of used to this lockdown and the idea that an attack could have been imminent at any stage, especially back since, since November when the 21st, when we had to suffer that lockdown and we were told not to leave our houses. Did you really imagine that such an attack would ever hit the Belgian capital? Not really. We have gotten used to so much security around. And even as I was changing metros uh, at Arloa, I walked past a military guard. I thought they looked uh, a little bit more tense than usual, but the fact is I've become used to it in Brussels and I didn't think anything of it necessarily um, and, and really wasn't expecting it. And what's your plan then for the afternoon? I'm sure you'd like to rush back to your wife and your, your child who was just born recently. So I've been on media a lot today. A lot of the photos and videos that I've taken have kind of exploded on social media. I think after this, it's time for me to, to take a step back and relax for a little bit, see my wife and my family, um, uh, get in touch with family that are further away and friends and uh, try to start processing things a little bit more.